Hello everybody, it's me again, and I'm gonna show you post another tutorial on um, maps. Okay, map view. And this tutorial, I'll show you how to do show directions on a map. All right. I've done the code for the sake of time. I'll just show you the steps that you need to do. If we run it, here's what we had before. I changed the location so you can see it. When um, I got my position. When I click here, I got my point. When I click on direction, it should show me the route to get to that point. Now, it takes a little bit of time. So, uh, we'll wait, wait. It would list the steps that you need to do here, and it will draw the route to that point. Okay, here it is, All right? Now, a word of caution here. <coughs> Apple map views don't work in every part of the world. Now, if you live in the in Europe, UK, the uh, uh, US, no problem. But if you go to like some other countries where you don't have a lot of maps, so you're not gonna have, you can't get the direction. So you'll have to use a, uh, another alternative such as Google. Okay, so you can call Google Map from this app and then open Google Map. Okay, but this is if you want to use. Uh, the directions provided by Apple all right okay so how we do this the first thing I've done is that you added a button on the storyboard and then the story and we uh, we connected it to an action in this method let me show you open the storyboard go to the storyboard this is what we had before everything is the same except we added this button and this button is tied to an action called called show directions. So we have an action here called uh, show directions. Okay, this is one. The other thing that you need to do, and this is important, is that remember in the, one of the videos I mentioned you don't need to set a delegate. You need to set the delegate for the map in order to draw that route. So what do you have? You double click on here, or you double click, and then you set the delegate. To the view controller okay all right so you just drag this to this it's already done okay okay so you see that delegate right now if, if it wasn't there you just click here drag it to the view controller now this become the delegate for the map that's important because when you want to draw or you zoom in zoom out things like that it triggers functions in the uh in that view controller all right so we're done. This is the first thing you need to do with the storyboard. Let's go back to the view controller and look at that get direction. <clears throat> All right, before we do this, I've created a new variable. This is what you have to do too. You create a new variable called destination. And the type of this variable is MK map item. You need the map item because this is your when we get the direction you need a source and a destination the source is a map item and the destination is a map item all right now how do we create this map item remember when we click on the pen in the previous video when we we have a method called add pen if you go there you'll see everything is the same except i added a couple more things here you get you create a place mark from the pen from that location that i've created remember this is the, the coordinate for that location i got the coordinates i create a place mark now the place mark takes two variables one two two parameters one is the coordinates and one is addresses so you can go to multiple addresses you can have an array of addresses or a dictionary of addresses here but for this we're just going to one point so we go here all right <clears throat> the other thing you need to create the map point. The map point takes a place mark, okay? The map item. So from the place mark, I can create now the destination, which is map item, all right? So these two were added to the add pin, which is this, okay? All right. Now we go to the show direction. The show directions, we need to create a class called MK Directions Request. This is the one that gives us the directions, and we need to set a few things in it. First, we need to set the destination, 
and the source. The source is my current location, map item, map from current location. So wherever that blue dot is showing, this would be my source, okay? And this is my destination. After that, I call, I, we call uh, the, uh, MK, we create the MK directions with the request, the request, okay? Which is, I get the request, sorry, it has a source and destination, and now I can get the direct, I call the directions. And here, you actually call the direction. It has a closure for two things. So this is, you're actually calling to get the di direction. <coughs> and we have a closure. In this closure, if we have an error, we print out the error. And if we don't have an error, we, we do a few things. First, if I have any overlays, that blue line that you saw or the purple line that you saw, I delete it from the map. So this step will delete it from the map, these two, these two lines. I get the overlays, and then I remove them from the map. So if you have any overlays in the map, this will do it, okay? This will delete it. If you want to do something fancy and then delete certain things, then you need to work on this, okay? The other part, now I got my response, okay? Here is my response, all right? So I got my response. In that response, I have my routes. So I go through the routes. We cast it as routes. Okay, I go through my route, and then I add overlay to the map. Okay, so add the overlay, route, polyline, and then the overlay, okay, above the routes. All right, <clears throat> and then finally, for every route, I actually print out the directions. Okay, so this is this is the heart of it. You get the request, you get the directions, you ask for the directions, you call the uh, direction completion handler here. When if it, when it's completed, the response will be your MK direction response. The if you have an error, you need to print out the error and handle the error. Otherwise, if you don't have errors. You delete the, all the any previous previous routes that you have, and then finally you draw the line, the route on your uh, on the map. The last part is this is the one that responsible for drawing. This is a map view delegate function. Okay, so if you type in map view, you will see this. All right, function map view, and then you will select it from the list. All right, and here we're drawing the overlays. So I'll draw polyline uh, renderer overlay with the overlay that is being passed to, to us. <clears throat> and then the color that we want to draw with, the width of your line, and then you draw. That's it, okay? That's all it takes to get the directions. Um, I did this quickly because of sick of time and I'm out of the country, so this is uh, short and sweet, but it should do the job. All right, I'll see you in the next video.